Get ready was a heck. Greetings, y'all. Peace, peace. Happy Gregorian New Year. Oh. Welcoming 2022 for whatever it needs to be. We are back. My name is Cindy Lee. Pronouns they and she, host of Sex on Shuffle. And we have here. I am just heck. And it's hard to hear. It's hard to, to talk. <laughs> We're doing it for you guys. <laughs> this is hot, by the way. <laughs> All the hotness going on. You are loyal to the soil. I love you guys 3,000. And yeah, so I'm going to take this off now. But just know I did it for you guys. And Look, that's, that's all I got. Ooh, Black Panther. That's sexy. It's a blanket. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh. That was sexy. Was it? Yes. Did it for you guys. Oh, man. So That was sexy. Please you. get Thank your you. screenshot on, y'all. Get my screen. <laughs> There's not many opportunities you're going to get. <laughs> Yay. Okay. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So, so how are you doing today, Cindy? I am here as safe in my house, as fabulous as I can be, despite all the fuck shit going on. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty good. I can't complain. Good. Um, okay. Doing the same. Doing the same. So th this uh this episode is 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 a little. I'm excited for it. It's actually okay. been waiting like two weeks to kind of get this together. Um, and you know, obviously, you you know we took time off and then you know stuff was going on but we're here and yes we're here we're here <laughs> that's right life is happening yes. i hope that y'all took breaks or rest if you have the capacity to do so mm -hmm. i'm taking a break i'm still on break my out of office is up to the 17th <laughs> please let me know if you need help crafting your vacation inbox i got you yeah I so this is the, the superhero episode, right? Uh -huh. this, is, this is the superhero episode. And we, uh, you know, obviously we're going to talk about superhero stuff and, you know, Marvel, DC, and anything uh -huh. else that, that Cindy wants to talk about. Um, I, I can't tell who you're into. It's so, you're such an enigma around what kind of superheroes you follow. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I'm sure that the listener, like you can't tell, right? So like, who is, who is your, one of your faves or your favorite, or do you have, are you a Marvel versus DC? Uh, I like both. I grew up liking both. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have, I mean, obviously the quality, I have a preference in terms of quality. Mm, right, okay. now, right now, Marvel is pushing out the quality. In uh, terms they, of films. Yeah, they've been pushing it out for like the last 10, 15 years. Mm, so, okay. Um, but, I, you know, obviously my favorite is Iron Man. Uh, mm. I used to get made fun of as a child because it was like everybody else liked the Hulk or they liked... You know, if, if it was Marvel, you like like the super spectacular guys. Mm. Like Silver Surfer was a big one. X-Men, mm. you know, X-Men in the 90s. People wanted to be Wolverine because he had the claws. And... Adamantium, of course. Yeah, and my, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, good, kudos. But uh, <laughs> I get made fun of because I was like, they're like, oh, he's just smart and rich. And I'm like, yeah, but that's pretty dope. And, all, and 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 my my you know my other favorite was uh I think it was the Hulk. I'm not mm. sure. I, I, I it's you know but whatever. But Iron Man was a definite favorite. And but in but in that time he was like a bench player. 
Mm. And then you fast forward to the first premiere of the MCU. And I think they, it was genius. It was a genius mm. move because you picked, you picked someone that people could connect to on a realistic mm. level. You didn't pick somebody who had like super, superhuman. You know, you didn't premiere that until later until the people were ready for it. And mm. what I'm talking about is like Captain Marvel, who okay. was like, you know, she's the strongest character in the MCU by far, yeah. not in the comic books, but in the cinematic portion. Yeah. Um, she's the strongest by far. And um they premiered her the right way. They did it where they were ready, you're ready for her. You're ready for that kind of power and that kind of, you know, that that, you know, so um, but yeah, it, I thought it was great. I thought it was mm-hmm. great. Um I think. You know, although DC still holds one of, I think they still have one of the best movies, best comic book movies ever, The Dark Knight, mm. um, with Heath Ledger. And, mm-hmm. um, I mean, I think that's, you know, he, he masterfully portrayed a sociopath um, and made it, made it, made a comic book legend, you know, very human and very mm. like, you know, like you can diagnose that and put it in your hand almost and be like, wow, you know, like he, mm-hmm. he almost won. <laughs> mm. you know I mean? Yeah. He, he almost won. Like it was like right to the very end. And, mm-hmm. you know, he, he could have won. I mean, there's so many classic scenes that the MCU has, has them, but not like the dark Knight. Mm, okay. Uh, like, yeah. Like for instance, when he dressed up as the nurse, and he knew, like, <laughs> like he had to, but but that was strategic. He had yeah, to, yeah. Do, like, he had to go, and 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 twist this man on his on in the hospital bed. He had to mm-hmm. twist him, and mm-hmm. he knew, like, he was right there, but he had to push him and get him right then. And you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. he did it in style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Uh, you know, like the scene where he burns the money, and they're like, yeah. "What are you doing?" He's like. I gotta Trust burn me out. I gotta burn your half to get to my half. <laughs> They're like, oh my god! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they weren't ready for that. They they no. unleashed, they unleashed an animal that they were not ready for. Right, right, right. Um, you know, just like the magic trick. You put a pencil on the foot, slammed the guy's head, made it disappear. <laughs> magic, magic and torture. You know, like <laughs> there's so many of those awesome scenes in that one mm-hmm. movie you know mm-hmm. and you know the mcu has them in different but it was more like it was more like comic book tropes almost like, mm. you, like, like you got to see you got the imagery from the comic and you're like oh snap they put it on the tv for us yeah and, yeah um but it, but the dark knight for me it was just so many classic moments that mm-hmm. you know, with like the, the, the phrase when an unstoppable force meets an, an immovable object, you know, and we're destined to do this forever. Mm. Right? And it's like, yo, it's like, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, and then he, he's laughing as he throws him off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, whatever, because he knew he wasn't going to do it. He knew he yeah. wasn't going to kill him. He, he knew he couldn't push him that far, but, mm-hmm. you know, he was just like, yeah, whatever. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, it's whatever. So mm-hmm. you know, it's those those moments that when people talk about, you know, all you know, the comic book movies, and there's yeah. moments at some point where they felt like comic book movies were ruining cinema. Mm. And I don't know. I, I don't. I I disagree. But before, yeah. Before we get into that, like growing up, did you have a favorite superhero? Um. <laughs> Yes and no, like I wasn't a comic book person, although I did collect pogs for like a little bit. Don't judge mm-hmm. me. Um, I try not to. Thank you, because I just want to shout out all the people that collected pogs for a sec. I had no idea how to play it, but I had the <laughs> Simpsons <laughs> ones and had the X Men ones because yeah. all I knew was X Men from yeah. uh, the 90s and cartoons, cartoons right? So, right. like, my favorite was Storm mm-hmm. off the bat, right? Which is not uncommon. And also Beast, though, because I really like, at least Beast in the cartoon for me. Yeah. Like, I really fucked with him and the fact that he could be both end in a time where they're like, what? Like, 
Mm. He's brolic and he's smart. Like that doesn't make sense, even though they didn't really play him too well. Um, <laughs> no. No. Right. So, but I was like, I always fucked with him. I was like, oh, but you're, I, I value you. Like you're important. Um, Cause I was, I always had empathy at some point, but in terms of like superheroes overall, like I always gravitated towards the villains. Right. Um, the villains were my heart and soul. So like when you were talking about Batman, I immediately think about, although yes, Heath Ledger, absolutely. I saw that in the motherfucking movie theaters, right? Like that was an important piece of history to be able uh-huh. to see that for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember Michael Keaton, right? And I'm, I remember uh, Michelle Pfeiffer doing Catwoman, mm-hmm. Halle Berry doing Catwoman, despite of how hit or miss it is, like the fact mm-hmm. the the portrayal, right? Yeah. I really fucked with. And the more and more I see as, movie wise we start expanding and start paying attention to like the layers of the villains and not just oh good and bad but I'm like good be doing some fuck shit and bad be doing some you know humane like humanity like shit like of course that happens right so mm-hmm. I was interested in what you thought in terms of the development between you know Heath Ledger's Joker and uh Joaquin right because people really fucked with this last Joker movie I don't yeah. know if you you saw it, but um, <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, like I, it was good. I enjoyed like the pieces of it. I've been on those steps in the Bronx, right? Like I resonate, <laughs> and I'm like, you got away with a lot of stuff with your yeah, mental yeah. illness, and uh-huh. um, <laughs> mental illness is important to talk about, and right. we need to talk about like the layers with it too. So I was thinking, like, what you thought about, you know, to not to compare the two, but what was your experience of the last Joker? I thought it was good. Um, yeah. I mean, I, you know, it, it's hard not to compare, but I thought it yeah. was a good effort. I thought it yeah. was, I thought it was the best effort. I remember there are different versions because, you know, I think the best, the best thing that Kevin Feige did, right, mm. was, was, was introduce the multiverse. Mm, and, and, okay. and explain to people that there are different and the multiverse wasn't like it wasn't an original Marvel thing it was actually a DC thing mm, and he kind of okay. took it you know what I'm saying and, and said you know what <laughs> we're going to show you how to do it yeah <laughs> and so but I mean I felt like it was a really good effort and I think it spoke about mental illness and, and the severity and what what happens to people when they're pushed yeah to to a limit and like you know like the monsters monsters are created because we create them because they're Mm. born they're born of our society they're born Mm -hmm. you know through through low you know low income Mm -hmm. poverty uh you know systemic shit yeah Mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of systemic stuff so Mm -hmm. i mean it it talks it it spoke a lot about it i think it showed I think that that movie definitely pushed it, it shed light on mental health in a way that you gave you the comic book aspect mm. but it also gave you like real life stuff and people were able to identify with that and I felt like that was awesome. I mm. felt like you know I comic books have been doing that for a long time. Right? Yeah. And I had a conversation with somebody um, when I when I told them that we were gonna do this episode, they were told, mm. you know, um, and he's very like fight the power, mm-hmm. pro black. He was very happy with how Black Panther was rebranded or recreated in a mm. sense where, because in the comics he was, he was just not like, that. Okay, yeah, he wasn't, you know, like it was just different. Like he had the Panther ears, and it was like a weird cape at one point. He wasn't attractive, like yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then the movies gave him a regalness to him, mm-hmm. provided you know, provided like 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 he was like in your words, he was above the fuck shit. Like he was, yeah. just like, you know what? Like even though he didn't, he he never gave off that aura. You just right. regarded him in a higher, in a yeah, high, yeah. In, a, in a higher tone, and um. You know, when we were talking about like X Men, and I was like, yeah. you know, like he was like, you know, I get X Men was talking about racism and how mm-hmm. mutants, you know, it was it's mutants, people of color, 
Um, he said, I wish that people at that time were ready for black superheroes because really mutants should have been people of color. And I was like, well, they weren't ready. And mm. X-Men wouldn't be where it is without them doing what they had to do to make the money and to, to push the brand to where it is. Mm. Um, but if you look at like the new X-Men, they're a, a total eclectic bunch that- Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's crazy now. I mean, it's, I, I try to read up a little bit, but it's, it's not like our X-Men, you know what I'm saying? Like it's- It's evolved a little. Mm-hmm. It's evolved a lot. Like it's- Yeah. <laughs> so they had like their own island now, like their own, mm. cause there was like a, you know, there was a civil war at one point, but yeah. needless to say like comic books have been attacking these issues for a long time or at least, mm-hmm. through, you know, and yeah, you have these people with fantastic powers or fantastic abilities. Yeah. Um, but they talk about like Iron Man dealt with alcoholism at one point. Mm, mm-hmm. um, he, he got really dark in the 80s for a yeah. while, which probably benched. That was the reason why they, they benched him for a little while. Yeah. Um, you know, they talk about Captain America. He dealt with um, PTSD for a while, with mm. being, in, being all these wars and then, you know, like, not really having a sense of himself because Mm -hmm. he was fighting for so long. And then when it was just like, well, what do you want? He was like, I don't know what I want. (laughs) I just just get up and fight. You tell me. Um, As trained. Yes. Yes. So, you know, you talk about, I mean, there's just a lot of different issues that have come about and adults, because they never took the time out to read these books because I mean, it's a comic book and it's like yeah they're like oh i'm not gonna read that so the mcu provides those stories where you could see it and you're like oh okay this is cool like i get yeah it. um and yeah i mean it's it's dope i mean it's i think it, i think the movies now i mean obviously if you you know like i don't know i, I think scorsese said some, some shit where he was like mm. you know comic book movies are are in cinema and it's like mm, they kind they are though i mean it, it it you you talk you know like why why are they not cinema i mean yeah. this is the guy you know these are from the makers you know of like of the most gangster movies of all time and yeah. all the bloodshed and why because the bullets are real and right. you know and and captain marvel shooting plasma rays out of her hand is it yeah like, Okay, it's not real, but the, the the message is all conveyed the same. I mean, right. So I don't know. I, I just I feel like I mean cinema it. ain't real. Like how real do you think it's based on our interpretation? Even when we do shit based on fact, it's still gonna be an interpretation based on whoever the director is. Yes. Right. So like everybody can have an opinion, and your opinion could just be showing your ass, right? Or showing that you have some type of elitist or you know you're very particular about a thing and that's your opinion right same way it reminds me of folks who I'm sure feel a way about some of the movies because maybe they're not in alignment with the comic books and they're comic book buffs right so they're mm-hmm. like oh the timeline right similar to motherfuckers that watch movies that are based in books and they're like hold on bitch you skipped the whole chapter or so and so that was important to me but it didn't show up in a movie Right. So like, you know, some of this is, comes out in truth and some of it is just hateration and this dancery. Because um, <laughs> I think about that because one of the other people I really liked and had no idea about when I was younger was was Venom. Right. And I didn't have no backstory, nothing. Aesthetically, he was my favorite. Right. Him and Carnage. I liked that kind of stuff when I was younger. And I know that I, I watched the last two movies but I also know people have a lot of critique about the movies like they thought the first one was awful and the second one wasn't good and I don't have a frame of reference for me to be invested in it to be like some cinematic masterpiece I'm like this is cool (laughs) this is funny he's talking about like he's a hero but he also ain't shit and like talking about the ain't shitness that you you know depending on the perspective right because Mm. even you know the venom side of him he's this real dangerous creature to us. And when you talk to him, he's like the, the most menial one. Like he gets right. bitched out by the other ones. He's like, oh no, that's a red one. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I could, if I could make this happen. Yeah. Right? But I, I think it's important. I feel like we can yeah. use that. Like we can talk yeah. about that 
Um, and those layers, but I look at shit differently. So I'm like, if you mad about it, be mad about it. I watched it and yeah. I like it. Yeah. It, well, it was it was funny. It was good, but it it didn't give the comic book people what they wanted. I'm sure. It, it yeah. Kinda, it it kind of botched the origin story mm. a little bit because okay. Um, just in the 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 origin story was that during the Secret Wars or something mm. like that, Spider Man needed to be able to fight in space, right? Mm-hmm. Or or some something like that to that extent. And I mean, I might be getting this wrong. So Don't be he, mad at we're doing this off the top. Yeah, top. No, he he sick, he sick with this with this alien symbiote. He was able to fight. right. He became the Black Spider Man, which was super popular in the late mm, 80s, okay early nineties. Um, but what what he didn't realize was that this symbiote was taking over him. Was mm-hmm. was, was was slowly starting to. You consume know, him, consume him <laughs> mentally, right. yeah, as well as physically, because he needed to take over his mind before he could take over anything else. Right. And there was like this big fight where <clears throat> he fought to get this thing off of him, mm-hmm. and it was like a fight in this big clock tower. And then, yeah, uh, where then all of a sudden, like he got it off of him, but the symbiote fell and yeah. latched on to Eddie Brock, who was a mm. dude that was down on his luck. Yeah, yeah. And he became, you know, he he he, he was let, plan B. <laughs> yes, he succumbed to the venom, and that's when venom, yeah. you know, but it didn't give you that kind of backstory. It gave you yeah. an alternate backstory, which Kevin Feige kind of fixed because when you look at the end of Carnage and he mm-hmm. zooms into the end the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes. And then spoiler alert at the end of uh no way home yeah kind of gets zoomed back mm. because of the multiverse mm. this is the multiverse so and wait no way home is the new spider-man or is it the yeah. carnage one no, oh because i didn't see the new spider-man i yeah, did see was, carnage and i saw yeah. that they were going to try to add it back to spider-man i was like that yeah. that's how it benefits y'all that it is a multiverse mm-hmm. for us to understand that there's these multiple timelines but that means you have right. to play with so much Right. So you're saying that you know you did on a spoiler on the second Spider Man, and you're saying that it's, they're, the they're also Spider-Man. looping it back in the third one, and yeah. they're also looping Venom back into that one too. Well, they no, they didn't, but okay. but they did in a mm-hmm. way that yeah. if you've seen it, you know you understand. Yeah. But he gets sent back to his universe, mm. but he leaves a present. In okay, the house, okay, to say the least. And yeah, yeah. So that it's able to like you know do something where in the mcu where they can kind of create something mm-hmm. um because the mcu is all is is about giving both where you can like you know like it was like venom you didn't really know about venom but you had that you were you just enjoyed it, the movie for what it was yeah whereas comic book fans hated it because it was just it didn't connect to the comic books it didn't provide yeah. the, the proper backstory yeah. But I thought it was funny as hell. Because like you said, right. he, was like, he was like, oh shit, that's a red one. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 we need to go. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Like, I'm not built. I'm not built for it. Oh, like the first one, he was like, you know, he, see the, he saw the other one. He was like, oh, yeah. no, no, we're going to die. <laughs> yeah, we're going to die. <laughs> I can't beat him. <laughs> yeah. But yet, you know, it doesn't work it out. But um, no, I mean, it, it's, I don't know, man. I think the MCU was able to, they've mastered the ability to provide for both fans. Mm, mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and so, like you look at Shang-Chi, mm, I, I, never, I never paid attention to him. I, I didn't even know, yeah. I knew nothing about him really. I had to read up on him when I saw that they were, you know, and obviously from an economic standpoint, you know, it's China, the biggest market in the world, mm. so to speak. Um, and, you know, so, you know, they appeased that. And it was very respectful. Like, it was very, yeah. it was it was a well-crafted movie. Um, it was done very, like, you know, it wasn't, no, I mean, it, it wasn't, didn't have the Bruce Lee tropes in it or anything like yeah, that. Like, yeah. it, was, it was just very, like, like no, we're, this is you know we're gonna pay homage to this culture, but mm-hmm. also we you know this is the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so we're gonna yeah. add things to it. 
and um, it had great actors in it. It had great um, Asian actors in it. Um, mm-hmm. It was it was dope. It was dope. Yeah. Um, but it, it it you know like they provided they 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 created they recreated they rebranded this character because mm-hmm. he's nothing like what he was in the comic books. Okay. But you know he's he's dope in his own right. Mm. Um, and then you have like, you know, I mean, they, they just did this across the board where you just like Iron Man, you know, Iron Man is everywhere now. Um, yeah. They did this with Captain America. They did. I mean, they, they put people in these positions where you can't see anyone else playing them. Because right? mm. who, who, you know, who can really play Captain America right now? Mm-hmm. Nobody mm-hmm. really. Nobody yeah. really. Who can play, you know, four? Who can play? Oh. You know, like Chris Helmsworth, and and thank God for for Ragnarok because that, <laughs> that saved that saved Thor. That really did because without that movie, that probably there is no Love and Thunder. There is, you know, like and it, it gave Thor like it made him funny, mm. but it also like provided like you know like it also like the MCU kind of reshaped Thor in the comic books because. Mm. Thor is a god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was like you know, like when you see, have you did you see Infinity War? Mm-hmm. And you saw you you kind so you so you follow his path, and he's he lost. You know, you, he suffers and he suffers. Yeah, and he suffers, but he still keeps trying. And then when he ends yeah. up when he ends up on Earth, and you know, it was like the grand entrance, boom. Yeah, you know I mean, it was like. Boom, like, regardless of it, like, you know what? I'm here with the fake yeah. guy and I'm ready to fuck shit up. And yes. He shit up. Yes. <laughs> like, like he, he saved them in a Yeah, sense. yeah. You know? But, and it's which, funny. Like, they yeah. did the aesthetics. I feel like they yeah. upgrade aesthetics for the other people that they know are watching. Like, whoever is mm-hmm. looking at folks to see if they're fine. Because I, I think of Thor, even though Thor was buff too, mm-hmm. it's the personality and the appeal mm-hmm. that they had that who can recreate that in 10 right. years, 20 years. It right. reminds me of what they did to Aquaman. Cause I know mm-hmm. the movie wasn't great, right? Like yeah. I enjoyed it, but I know a lot of people didn't like it, but aesthetically yeah. he got upgraded because yeah. I don't, I don't even know Aquaman like that. And I know <laughs> that all the references were like, oh, like they can play it. I, thought, right? I like, thought it was dope though. I thought it yeah. was dope. I yeah. thought, it, I thought, I mean, there was a lot going on in that movie. It gave you like I liked it, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, right. And for the general fan, yeah, right. For for a comic book fan, you changed his look, and yet we got you. Okay, so we're like, okay, bet. And then you got to remember yeah. too, right? He had the the Justice League, mm-hmm. which was horrible, which was yeah. horrible, right? So they kind of had to rebound from that, and I they did yeah. a great job story wise. They did. There was just parts where like he's in the desert and it was like, okay, is is this Aquaman or is this Tomb Raider? Like what you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like there was just a lot going on, but in the end, I felt like it was dope. Like, yeah, they, they took that really corny <laughs> suit that he had from the comics. <laughs> it was like orange and green. And they made it, they made it dope. I I personally I yeah, enjoyed it. I, I liked it. it. You know, like I, I my favorite scene is in the part where they're trying to escape. And I think he fights his brother and you think, yeah, oh, he's gonna and the brother whoops him. Like, no, you yeah. you, know, you know nothing about this. And <laughs> and they're in the ship and they're trying to fly out. And he's like, get behind us. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's like, yo, this he's like really scared. Like, you know yeah. what I'm he's like, they're behind us. She's like, what? They're behind us. <laughs> he's like, okay. Oh, we gotta get out of here. I got you. It's real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, we gotta go. Yeah, I can't, I can't I'm swim us out of this. <laughs> yeah, I can't swim us out of this. I can't swim. We we got we're in this ship. We gotta figure That's it out. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. Literally and figuratively. I, I just got beat up. We, I ain't ready. We get fly retreat. Out of yes, it's please. about strategy. Yes. It's about strategies. Get the fuck out of there and try again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I gotta come back. I gotta get. You know, we gotta we gotta go to the desert. Give me work, five minutes. Work this out. I need, <laughs> yeah, I need a sandwich. Yeah, um. <laughs> it was dope. I mean, it's. I think at the end of the, at what we, you know, comic books, and and, and I'm great, and I, I'm grateful for your for your thoughts on this because 
you're a general fan and if, and mm. like from the census standpoint where you just enjoy the movies for what they yeah. are and there yeah. isn't a lot of that these days right yeah. there's just there's a lot of oh my god they didn't do this they didn't do that like reddit mm-hmm. is just a horrible oh, yeah. place sometimes <laughs> like, it's like dude they are not gonna recreate the movie that you want like i'm sorry like you yes. you have to understand from the standpoint of making money they it's have a capitalist to, thing yeah they, for sure. they have you know because again they have to make the money yeah you have to, there are necessary evils that you have to satisfy Mm. to get the things that you want in that genre yeah mm-hmm. it's expensive too like yeah my, yes. my lover always looks at how much money they spent and how much money they yes. made yes so it's like yes. sometimes it's a dip yeah. no definitely definitely and like you know you, you it, they, they give you the stories and, and i really can't wait for you to see the new spider-man because mm. they literally gave you everything like i mean oh, it is I feel like it's not only one of the best Spider-Man movies, if not mm. the best Spider-Man movie, mm-hmm. um, but <clears throat> it's one of the best MCU movies and technically Sony movies ever. Yeah, like it was. Mm. I mean, they did. They that they literally took it to the next level with yeah. Spider-Man, but made it. I mean, it's just genius. Like, like it was the way they did it was just like you know what we have this multiverse thing now right so even if the movie isn't good well guess what there's another version that we can try and there's another version that we can try and we'll figure it out we'll figure out what's the best fit um yeah i i feel like the only movies the mcu that hasn't worked (laughs) at least for me (laughs) uh uh thor part two Oh, okay. Yeah. What was and, that, Ragnarok? Was that no, no, that was three. That was three. Okay, okay. I didn't really like Thor 1, but it was it was an origin story, so I gave it a pass. But Thor okay. 2 was just like, they do not care about Thor. <laughs> like, mm. I was like, I don't think they really are giving it the attention. Like, that story... You have fasted. it. Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. But, mm. you know, it, 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 at the same time, they were in the middle of creating a 10-year masterpiece, mm. which is something to me at least, no yeah. franchise has ever been able to do. Mm. Okay. Star Wars didn't couldn't do it. Star Trek couldn't do it. Um, mm. I mean, a lot you know, like they literally created a 10-year piece of cinema that connects to each other, connects mm. to people consistently, shows you the people's pains and triumphs throughout everything um and they came out at the end and said okay we're not starting over but we, we're going to start kind of a new but people were like the people who have scars though like it wasn't yeah. like you won like it was real life like you won but it wasn't it was, there was trauma involved yeah. you know what I'm saying like yeah you know like <clears throat> Like in the the Disney Plus kind of adds a great piece where they where they show people coming back from being blipped, mm. right? They show um, in in WandaVision, they show yeah. Homegirl, and I don't want to give away her name because it's kind of a spoiler. Mm. But Homegirl who was with her mom during her cancer treatments, mm-hmm. and she comes back, and everybody's her mom is gone. Her mom died. Mm. The whole world's gone crazy. She yeah. blips back to where she was she's in a chair <laughs> like, yeah right and she's like i lost five years yeah traumatic you know what i'm saying yeah um eternals you, right well eternals didn't were outside of that and i and they kind of botched eternals mm. a little bit because mm. well the blip didn't really affect them but you like uh um uh what's her name Which one black, was it? black widow's sister in, mm. in the new Hawkeye, you should watch that. Yeah. She got blipped. Okay. And they, and they did hers even better because they like, yeah. they like she's in the bathroom washing her face or whatever, mm. got blipped. And then when she came back, like they show like the whole, how the bathroom got repainted. And yeah. she looks around, she's like, what the hell's what going the fuck on? What is this? Yeah. yeah. And then she, you know, then she starts on her journey and realizes her sister died. 
Um, and there's connections from different pieces where, yeah, you know, she she goes on this vengeful path of trying to, you know, trying to get some justice for her sister. Yeah. Um, but I mean, there's just there's just a lot of different things that they've shown you. Yeah. And just it was it was dope. I mean, you should watch them. You should watch them all. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm st- and I, I'm down. Like, we'll still put a disclaimer that there may be some spoilers, maybe. But maybe it wasn't Eternals. Was it the Winter Soldier one that it felt like it was post blip? Like, what happened? Oh no, it was. Folks? It, was it was. Yes. Okay, it so was. that one was yeah. the one. That one was like. Dope. Because it watch- shows that real shit, like what happens when people yeah. use or in your house and like they're trying to have this government stuff. I saw it. I, I binged it. I did you did you see the scene that I told you to see? Mm. With the with the um the do the Dora Milaje. It's oh in the yeah, room. that's my in favorite. Like, nah, bitch, I have jurisdiction wherever the fuck I'm at. <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, that's the sexiest thing ever. Yes, of course you do. Yo. Yes. And then they had the spear. She threw the spear. Was like, like hit him right in the. Do you know how skilled you have the to precision. be to hit a dude? <laughs> he like she lodged the shield into the the into the, the table. Didn't injure him at all. Yeah. And he's like, what the hell is? And and they're beating beating them to like beat. Yeah, took his arm off. He's yeah. like, yo, did you know she could do that? He was like, no. <laughs> I didn't know she, like, she was like, doo, doo. no, you don't need that arm. <laughs> I have admin. I am admin in this, okay? This is this, where you think this came from, okay? R-I-T. This is yeah. Wakanda yeah. material. Like, what you mean? <laughs> he just looked like, he took my arm <laughs> Dudes can't <getting> beat up. <laughs> and then, to cap it off, took the shield, like, stepped on it, put it on, and then, like, looked at him like, in half a blink. I might take this from you. <laughs> I might confiscate this from you. <laughs> she was like, what do we do? Said, Just leave it. Just she leave was it. like, there you go. <laughs> we don't need this shit. <laughs> and then he very, very with class, handed it back like, here. <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> Insignificant. <laughs> but Insignificant. You're but you're lucky. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. We blessed you. Like, that's yeah. it. Then you're alive. Like, he was like, they're not even super soldiers. No, they're the Dora Bellagio. Don't like, fuck they- around. <laughs> and it show it always makes me think of how West, it's such a Western thing for folks to be very mm-hmm. like to stand very firm and like, no, but this is a rule, right? Like this is a mm-hmm. jurisdiction. Fuck your jurisdiction. <laughs> like that's just not real. Like right. yeah. hold on. Mm-hmm. No, that's yeah. power. Like, mm-hmm. like, yeah, like we're we're the most advanced nation on the planet. <laughs> They don't care. Like, listen, we're coming to get this guy, and you're not gonna do nothing. You're just in the way. Stop. <laughs> are, right? Like, like seriously. And then the worst thing he did was put his hands on his shoulder. Like to me, like everything about that series, like I, I saw where it was going, and I was just like, okay, all right. And then when it yeah. got to that point, I was like, yes, this is right. It, it saved the whole series for me because up until that point, it was kind of like, uh, okay. It was, yeah. And I get it. I get where they're going to go. Like, I know sure. Anthony Mackie's going to make his speech at some yeah. point. And it was, it was very, but it was, it was very real. And it, like yeah. you said, it pointed to like, it's, it, I mean, let's be real. You got the, the, the conflict in the Middle East, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, with, with the, with the Jews and the Arabs or the, you know, mm. Palestinians, Palestinians, uh-huh. right. Where and, and, and you know, like the, the Palestinians came after they left, and then the Jews came back and they're like, "Oh, we want it back. <laughs> and we want to like, take all of it." Yeah, I like mean, we want to, re- you know, it's, it was ours, and it's like, no, like we've been living here, like you can't just come. Right. So right. you had that happening, and then the government, the world's governments, are trying to say, "Okay, well, this was theirs," and. I mean, it even made reference. I forget in which, in which, all oh, in um, um, no way home. Mm, but, okay. uh, uh, Peter Parker's art was like, you know, no, it was it wasn't in no way home. It was in the second one. 
she mm-hmm. was like when i when i when i came back somebody was living in my apartment because <laughs> mm-hmm. like, and they talk about you know like she was homeless for a minute like or yeah. not for a minute but you know like she was basically homeless because it, her apartment wasn't hers anymore right and they had to move like basically he was like yeah you gotta find somebody else to, move, to live and that's wild um, and in, in that show uh and it's and i like i don't like to call it uh the Hawk and I like to call it Captain America and the Winter Soldier because yeah, 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 for sure. Anthony Mack is Captain America. Mm-hmm. Um, but they talk about like people being displaced, right? <laughs> and, right? And the whole thing of like, well, you can't like this is this or, or how things so how the, the bad guys, so to speak, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it's really be who's the villain and who's it's all about interpretation. It goes back, you know, they're talking about, well, the the, 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 the we all work together and mm-hmm. then the people came back yeah, and, and tried to make things like they were and things were broken like the way they were. Right. This, you know? this, this is the opportunity for you to fix things. <laughs> and instead you're like, oh no, let's give shit back to the homeowners. Okay, but that still highlights all the fucking people you left out and didn't value. Right. So, the mm-hmm. way y'all do, right? Y'all colonize, y'all go to places that have people and are like, this is mine. So <laughs> they did it too. So now they got to leave. Of course, right. they're going to be mad. And there's certain <laughs> things that I didn't necessarily agree with per se, right. but I'm also like, mm-hmm. I get it. Do what you got to do. If right. nobody's paying you mind and you have a history of people, because it was a fucked up history, but it just shows that some folks will look at that immediately and be like, bad guy, right? Enemy yeah. of the state. Mm -hmm. Uh, treason all that shit and you're not looking at the layers of like how did that get there right Right. what what when was their humanity and their value taken away to the point that they have all this anger or whatever feeling that's rightful anger but maybe Mm -hmm. misdirected depending on who it was going to if you agree with that because that's another layer that we'll talk about one day maybe because I don't want to take it there but I, I always want to take it there because it's like oh you want to highlight that but we're not highlighting the militarization that happens in the countries that are y'all are doing right, right? and that you low-key are promoting because you hire mm-hmm. military consultants to help you with these movies right so like you're putting messages because messages is what's marketable right now I just don't know if you got your full heart in it Right. Which is why, like, I'm here for the social justice pieces, but I'm also like, who wrote that? Do we even need that in movies if you're not going to do it in a realistic way? You're going to be like, oh, we are the world. Right. This is what's going to happen. Um, right. <laughs> but I also know that I could watch a movie and enjoy it, even if I'm looking at it in these different angles to be like, okay, everything is trash still. Right? Like, <laughs> where's my popcorn? <laughs> like, no, that, and that's the whole point. Like, it, it it provided messages within yeah. the, the the glamour and the glitz of you know metallic arm right or, or the or or a vibranium shield or right. you know what I mean like it was it gives you those things and that's the MCU has has gotten a lot better mm. and I think kudos shout out to Kevin Feige mm. for stepping to the plate and re- and and saying okay you know what yes we had to start out with these six white people right mm-hmm. but let me get you to where we could have diversity where we can mm-hmm. have you know because you know truth be told the the most powerful characters in the marvel cinematic universe is two women <laughs> mm-hmm. and it might be a third <laughs> yeah. yeah but it's two women it's the, the scarlet witch and captain marvel mm-hmm. um and so, you know, it's like, forget, you know, and even, even, you know, with, so Dr. Strange was supposed to make an appearance in WandaVision and he, oh, okay. and he nixed it because he said, we don't want to give the, the, the white, the, the white hero vibe, mm-hmm. you don't need that, the white male hero vibe. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? To come save the day after the woman. And center. Mm-hmm. The, after the woman done messed it, everything up. And, mm. you know, and, and, and it talked about her trauma, her loss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and she had nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she lost her brother. She lost her sister. She, I mean, she lost the, the, the man or the 
the whatever he was, you know what I'm saying? But she lost him. She lost her yeah. companion. Yeah. And so like and then there was trauma in that. And and yeah. having, you know, and and it and they made mention. I love the fact that they made mention that she almost beat Thanos. <laughs> Cause she almost did. Yeah. <laughs> like if he didn't rain fire, oh, it was a bit of rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so like, yeah, she she they they they're they're constantly the MCU has evolved and it's mm. getting it's getting better, you know. They got mm-hmm. a lot of things coming out where you got um like Echo features, you know, uh, a Mexican uh a, a Mexican kind of hero mm. with not with not so much abilities, but she's disabled, she lost a leg, mm. and she's okay. deaf. And she's deaf. Mm. She was in Hawkeye. You should watch that. That one oh, okay. was funny. It was funny. Like you should watch. It was it was funny and it was it was dope. That's um, next. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you got a lot of stuff coming out, which is, which is, you know, you got Marshala playing Blade. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for that. And, and I know for a fact, Wesley Snipes is going to be in that. In some, you know it. Yeah, Absolutely. I think because the fans want it. So I think he's going to end up in it, but I can't wait for that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, the reintroduction of X-Men, which is mm. a tricky feat. Um, yeah because because unfortunately fox fucked it up i'm just gonna come mm. out and say that they fucked it up. like they had a point where they where they fixed it and then they just yeah. said they then they fucked it up again and then they fucked it up even worse to a yeah. point where Ke- kevin feige has to like really strategically plan this mm-hmm. because if you don't do it right then it becomes the inhumans mm. and if you if you've never heard of that it's because mm-hmm. it was really horrible. It was with the TV. They, oh. did, it, they, they did it in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't good at all. It, it premiered on, on Channel 7 ABC in New York. I don't know what yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other places of the country Maybe. or whatever. But, I only know New York. Yeah, but it was bad. And so you have, but in humans was supposed to be a vital piece to introducing mutants into yeah. the mcu and they botched it so now he's got to mm. backdoor it and kind of figure out and i think the multiverse kind of does that help but, um, that yeah you know but yeah it uh i mean there's there's a lot of stuff coming out and then i think dc is trying to get themselves together i think i think the important thing is you have to have someone guiding it who's a fan because okay. mm-hmm. Kevin Feige was a fan first. He grew up gotcha. reading these comic books. And I and I think he's mastered the ability or is mastering it. I mean, he's done a very, yeah. very great job yeah. of being able to pro- give everybody what they want. Yeah. He gives the conventional movie moviegoers a great experience, an opportunity to just kick back and chill. He gives the, the geeks like me a visual of the comic book hero, you know, yeah. you know or the people that they read growing up a, a, as close as, you know, that you can get to it. And then he gives the people who are funding it their money. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of these movies aren't really costing a lot to make. Um, mm, okay. you know, they're, they're costing somewhat, but I think Endgame and Infinity War were the most expensive Marvel movies to make, but they that made back like it, it costs almost a billion to make each one, I think. Or I'm not sure. But each movie made no, it didn't cost a billion, it cost less, but maybe yeah. like 500 million. I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> but but it made its money back and then yeah. some, you know. Yeah. Um and then provided, I mean, the MCU, they've also gotten really good at at uh creating villains memorable mm. villains memorable mm-hmm. villains you know what i mean like thanos thanos yeah you know yes very you know just like the just like the the quote-unquote villains in captain america and the winter soldier yeah um you know yeah. yes what the way they were going about it was wrong <laughs> a little but but 
you but their but the ideology what their thought process was made a lot of sense you know thanos saw suffering in the universe due to overpopulation and he, and he saw it on he saw it happen on his planet and his planet right. died right because they didn't do anything about it so his thought was i'm going to save the universe because i can <laughs> and <laughs> And so, you know, in, in his ways of going about it, he knew he didn't have enough time to go yeah. from planet to planet to solar system, solar system. Yeah. Equaling out. <laughs> so his thought was, what can I do to kind of speed up this process? Hard reset. I'm going to get these, these infinity stones because I feel like if I use this, it's mm-hmm. going, I'm going to be able to achieve yeah. my end result. And he planned it out carefully. If you look at the 10 year span, he didn't just go try to get them. Why? Because he knew that the galaxy would come against them. Yeah. So he sent players. Okay, you're going to go here. You're going to go there. You're going to go here. You're going to go there. Yeah. And then when the main stone that he needed revealed itself, he was like, now I can go get them all because I know mm-hmm. where that one is because he didn't know where the soul stone was. He never knew. Yeah. But he knew where all the other ones were, yeah. kind of. But he knew, okay, so when I find that one, I can get all of them. The long game, yeah. And, you know, and then a little luck played into, played into it. You know, the Avengers mm-hmm. broke up. And then he was able to go, boom, piece by piece. Opportunity. Get, get, yep, stone by mm-hmm. stone by stone. And when he got them all, he did what he did. Hard reset. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and I mean, that's a, that's, Again, you tell it, it, they told that story over 10 years, little yeah. by little, and you piece it, it's like masterful. Big purple dude, who would have known? Yeah. <laughs> Big purple dude was playing chess the whole time. Right, right. <laughs> and and didn't want to. Like he like he knew, like he he was like, listen, I gotta achieve these means by any means necessary. Yeah. Which included throwing his daughter. <laughs> Of a cliff. Ooh, everything was fucking <laughs> yeah. replaceable, right? Like, and every move was was done with remorse. Like he was like, "Yo, I don't want to do this, but this is the only way. This is the only way that I can fix things, and you're gonna come to understand." <laughs> and, but, if, and that's the issue, though, right? Because was that the only way? But he was so adamant on his thing and mm-hmm. his point of view, regardless of who was harmed. In right, his yeah. head, it was a bigger thing. Like it was. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but the, the, the I, end, the end justified the means. And yeah, sometimes yeah. that don't work. Like that's the same way that um, you know, I worry about government being right. like, you know, this area is highly something. Let's just go blow it up because that's better than right. like it impacting the whole nation. Right. Well, this is this is what made him the villain, though. You know what I'm saying? We're not we're not glorifying. No, You're no, just, no, but it's just but, interesting. But you just, you know, when you look at why he did it. Yeah. You know, in his you mind. You see rationale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he, he he rationalized it. And then you you look at in, in Hawkeye, mm. the scene where he's drinking tea or whatever, he drink coffee or whatever. Yeah. And on the cup, it says Thanos was right. <laughs> you know it's the little things. <laughs> right. It's like, you know, and people are really like it. And, but you could see those villains in Captain America and Winter Soldier would agree with Thanos. Yeah. Because things were better when they were everybody, when all the people who were greedy and everything, when they were gone. Yeah. And, and we outnumbered the, the, the wealthy or the, the, yeah. the 1%. Yeah. We were able to do better things. Yeah. You know? And then they came back and then look what happened. So, right. you know, the the... Again, very masterfully done by the MCU. They're able to link ideologies and say, mm. you know what, you know, and, and no, they he was wrong for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, listen. It, it, he means well. I mean, he, he meant well. He meant somebody's well. well-meaning shit is gonna affect <laughs> my ability to live my best life, and that's what my concern is. But I'm like, like I said, show-wise, I mean, you know, yeah. cinematic-wise, media-wise, yeah. I'm here for all of it. I'm, I think, yeah. what am I watching now? Are you watching Hit Monkey? 
I'm Hit watching Hit Monkey right now. It's Marvel. What is what oh is my it? God. It's fascinating. It's, what is it um, on? What is it on? Hulu, I think. Okay. That's why I, where I watch it. Okay. And it sounded ridiculous, but I've been watching it. It's, um, I will say the monkey becomes a hitman, but it's still a monkey. <laughs> like it's not like radioactive turned into a human can talk. It's still <laughs> a monkey. <laughs> The monkey's just getting support. And it, it started with the origin and everything. That's why I was like, where are y'all going with this? Let me see. Because I was I'm, like, what is this about? I'm, I'm definitely going to watch that. Now. You have to. I you have to. Have to. That I saw I that to. and I, I saw Doom Patrol. Did you see Doom Patrol? Because I kind of like I've I've watched a little bit of it, but not enough. But I thought it I was dope. With it. I yeah, it was I dope. like Doom Patrol. I like um Teen Titans. Very I real, finished that too. I very finished real, that. very gritty. People die. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's some it's, people were annoying me a little bit. Like yeah. I could have did uh, with a, a. I had enough of the red hood for me. <laughs> I felt yeah. for him, and I also yeah. did it. Right? He's like a, it was. He's a drug addict, <laughs> and that's fine. But I'm like, you still have some type of stuff yeah. to work through. Yeah. Work through whatever your substance <laughs> stuff is, but it's also your like abandonment yeah. and validation stuff. Yeah. Um, he, he needed. He, he listen. I guess you wanted to give him harm reduction, but he, I'm here. Yeah, I'm he, here for harm he, reduction. He was causing a lot of harm. <laughs> yes, yes, but it was also very influenced. No, no, definitely, definitely, um, definitely. But I liked it. I do like. Mm. I did like it. I did watch it. But sometimes I wanted to <laughs> shake people. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So, but anyhow, great episode. Yes, I'm, I'm glad Cindy indulged my nerddom. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think. I, you know, I think appreciate you, Cindy. Um, Absolutely. You have any last words or anything? Mm. Let me know what you think about that monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Um, you might hear us talk about Marvel again because I'm automatically thinking of things that I'm like, you know what? I'll just wait on the capitalism episode. <laughs> um, but thank y'all. Thank y'all for listening. I hope you're having the week that you need. Uh, fuck that job. No. What, what's your last job? What's your last? I'm like, that's a whole other episode. I'm like, Gotta take care it. of yourself. <laughs> flip it. Flip right. Job. <laughs> unfuck yeah. them but yes uh, <laughs> yeah uh you know i hope you guys enjoyed it us talking and yeah check out disney plus check out hit monkey mm -hmm. uh, watch you know enjoy it just enjoy it for what it is yeah if, if, if you're into the movies for the comic you know enjoy it for what it is if you, yeah. if you just want to have a forget about what the hell COVID or anything watch the movies just have some yeah. fun have some fun and, and 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 chill yeah and tell us about it tell us what you think are we talking on our asses do you disagree I'm here for all of that do you Definitely. agree um chop it up with us we're looking forward to connecting with you we'll see you next episode word <laughs> deuces oh wait you gotta you gotta say your catchphrase oh shimmies mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.